Yeah, hello guys. Um, I'm Alex Jihan Won at Watcha Team, the copyright protocol. Uh, the copyright protocol is actually uh, the decentralized paid content exchange protocol. Uh, before getting into the copyright protocol, let me explain our existing business first. We founded our company in 2011 as a, res as a response to a big problem that there were so many great contents out there, but they were not being delivered to right users. So um, as we were experts in personalization technology and machine learning, we thought we had to solve this problem. So um, that's how Watcha was born. Watcha is a personalization, a content personalization service and content review service for movies and TV series and drama and books. This is how Watcha looks like. Our recommendation accuracy is higher even than Netflix, 26% better measured by RMSE. We've collected 370 million ratings and reviews, and that's a dominating figure, number one in South Korea, um, 30 times more than number two, which is Naver, the Korean version of Google. It supports Korean and Japanese right now, but the English version is coming up next month. So once we became the number one in personalized recommendation, we, we decided to the next step and deliver those contents directly to our users. So we created content platforms such as Watcha Play, Watcha Music, and Watcha Webtoon, where users can actually consume those contents. So this is Watcha Play, a paid subscription VOD service. It's the biggest competitor against Netflix in Korea. It won the partnership with Samsung Electronics this year. So every customer buying Samsung Galaxy S9 this year, they get three months free voucher of Watcha Play. It's also preloaded on Samsung LG Smart TV and LG Smart TV, as well as other um, major devices like Chromecast and um, you know, paid TV setup boxes. So our users you watch a lot and engage a lot. We have um, um, already licensing contracts with more than 50 content providers, such as Disney, HBO, Sony, Fox, and BBC, as well as um, local studios like CJ, um, NBC, and JTBC, et cetera. And every year, without missing a single year, we've been awarded best app of, best app of the year by Apple and Google. However, while running these platforms, um, we found out there was a bigger problem to this in the ecosystem. The thing is the content providers are really upset that these um, major uh, content, major platforms have been number one, charging unreasonably high commissions. Number two, non-transparent with their revenue sharing system. And number three, making and favoring their original contents on the platforms. So once again, we set out and found an answer to this big problem. So here it is, the copyright protocol, the paid content exchange protocol, where these three parties can coexist and cooperate. This is how it works. Um, platforms will distribute most of most of their platform fee to content provider and to the user. And in its place, the platform will take the inflation pool, which is determined by content provider and user, thus creating a fair and transparent structure um, that is checked and balanced by each party. We're gonna aggressively expand our ecosystem by making our platforms open source so that other third parties can, can easily join our ecosystem. And furthermore, the foundation will invest in and acquire the existing platforms for our ecosystem. We're gonna start with Watcha TV, which is going to be a um, um, transactional VOD where a user pays for each content, like iTunes and Google Play movies. There are two tokens, CPT, a 100% UTA token, transferable, and will be listed. And the CP power is kind of internal token, 
and it is not tra non-transferable. It is used for staking and gating voting power. So let, let me talk a bit about our token model. Once the user pays for a content with the fiat or our token, the payment will be um, um, immediately distributed to the content provider and to the platform and to the user and to the other users. To be specific, most of it goes to the content provider and 10% goes to the platform, which is a big drop from 30 to 70% they used to take. And the 10% to the goes to the user for a stake in that content. And the last 10% is distributed among the other users who already have a stake in that same content. And um, for platforms, the inflation pool will be um, distributed to the each platform according to the um, um, contribution to the network. Um, to bring in general people out there, we accept fiat as payment method. So uh, once, once a user pays for a content, the payment will be partially used to purchase our token CPT powered by API integration with exchanges. And of course, if they want to be more engaged with our protocol, then they can receive their license fee with our token um, CPT in real time with a bonus. While accepting fiat, it also has a um, compensation scheme for some users and some content providers who strongly agree with our philosophy to gain, um, uh, to stake CP power. So users can stake CP power for more compensation and content providers to boost the sales. So we're gonna, um, yeah, aggressively, we're gonna move fast, actually. Starting with transaction of VOD, we're gonna move on to subscription VOD, music, and comics, novel, ebooks as well. Our private round is ongoing, so feel free to ask anything. Yeah, we are around there. Yeah, thank you.